So ACRA was set up as this alternative to the big three rating agencies after Putin kind of complained about their treatment of Russia. But you've not been afraid to ruffle any feathers. And we've seen this re recently. We are warning about Bank of Okritia quickening, quickening its demise, really, from your report. Um, you said more lenders could follow. Who do you think's next? So we really do think that uh, among top 100 Russian banks, so there are institutions with problems associated predominantly with uh, toxic assets. I think uh, it's around five or ten names uh, within, but uh, the next step is from uh, the central bank, definitely, because uh, it uh, has intensified its uh, banking supervision approaches, and we expect new names to come this year, definitely. Yeah, speaking about the central bank, there was a recent report that they're going to provide an extra bailout worth $17 billion uh, for units of Okritia as well as BNN. Um, and these funds could be put for a unit to form a bad bank. Why is such a large sum needed? $17 billion U.S. dollars is huge for Russian banks. So we're definitely talking about the problems of these institutions. So for ages, they uh, collected toxic exposures, and our assessment that uh, the level of uh, you know, toxic exposure, of exposures and new reserves uh, has been created by central bank last year is around 500 billion rubles. It's really impressive amount, and you know, this is a, a reflection of economic situation, of the poor management of of these institutions and, you know, uh, there are lots of questions to central bank as well. For the central bank, right. And would this affect the inflation rate at all? No, I think because this is, we are not talking about a new money in economy. This, you know, to uh, face all problems, no, no new money in economy, yeah. Um, speaking of interest rates, is it still too high given where inflation is? We do have a rate decision this Friday. Investors are seeing a 25 basis points cut. Is that still too high? It's, is it, is, it is too high. We expect the key rate to go down and inflation uh, to go down as well this year. And it's uh, really a new reality for Russian banks and Russian companies with uh, a lot of issues and uh, threats.